This is the future. Honestly, there's a huge gap between shield and armor right now. Shields are not very reliable because of the shield gating mechanic wherein you will gain a 1 second and vulnerability. This can be exploited by equipping a decaying dragon key, and using any abilities that you can spam easily, allowing you to regain shield with the help of either brief respite aura, or the auger mods. On the other hand, armorers survivability don't give decent damage reduction especially against high level and level cap enemies. You would need a ton of armor just to get past 99% damage reduction, and there are only a few setup that can do this. For you to stack a lot of armor, you will need abilities that give out armor, mods that also gives out armor, and even arcanes that gives out armor. However, sometimes, these are not enough and it's better to stay at 90% damage reduction from armor, then add the adaptation mod or health conversion so you can gain 98% or 99% damage reduction in your health. It sounds incredible, but adaptation and health conversion have requirements to somehow gain that close to 100% damage reduction in your health. The best way to gain a lot of armor instantly is through a Helminth ability named Parasitic Armor. Expend 50 energy to sacrifice shields to increase armor value by a certain percentage depending on your power strength, and of the total shield capacity for a couple of seconds. Take note that there are also certain conditions that needs to be obtained to gain the maximum bonus of this ability. First of all, current shields or overshields do not contribute to armor gain. Shield capacity increase from any source like shield charger, haven, and elemental ward, and these can increase armor gain. The best example to use this Helminth ability is subsumed to Hildren, and watch how tanky she becomes with those armor values. Hildren, with enough power strength and shields can gain up to 15k armor or more, which then results to 98% damage reduction. As long as parasitic armor is active, you will have a reliable damage reduction, and when you pair it with arcane blessing that increases max health, then arcane grace that regenerates health, then you can create an insane tank Hildrin build that is non-meta, as it's not using shield, but instead relying on health and armor values. Warframe like Oberon is jealous on how amazing the armor you can get with Hildrin. If this was also applicable to Oberon, I mean the high armor value that you can get, reaching 15k then the GOAT Warframe would be a lot tankier. However, there's a problem with Parasitic Armor on Hildren, and it's the fact that it would lead to your death sometimes. When you cast Parasitic Armor, you will use all your shields and after the ability expires, you won't have shields and you need to rely on the shield region, or the energy orbs to restore your shield with Hildren, before you can even cast Pillage. The same thing goes with other Warframes, and this is the weakest part of the ability. You can armor, but it will take away all your shield which leaves you more vulnerable to enemy attacks. So, for those who are saying that Arcane Blessing plus Parasitic Armor is the new tank met right now, well, it's not. It can be a good survivability for tank warframes, but I don't see it as a meta that everyone will rely on. Now, I would like to know your thoughts about this topic. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.